Go over and over again, not only in rock music, but people in Hollywood all over who are being called by Satan into his army. Okay, Oprah Winfrey said she was lonely and out of it until she came in contact with the, the universal hum. Okay, you see it over and over and over and over again. And I tell you right now, people in high places are being used by spirits to suck the world into the new age under Antichrist. And it's not just in rock music. That just happens to be what we're exposing today. In fact, your head is humming, and it won't go in case you don't know. The piper is calling you to join him. Dear lady, can you hear the wind blow? The lady that started off the tune. The lady that thought all that glitters was gold. Dear lady, can you hear the wind blow? And did you know your stairway lies on the whispering wind? Where's the whispering wind? Remember we talked about that? Remember that was the piper's past. And it's whispered that soon if we all call the tune, then the piper will lead us to reason. So he's basically telling this woman that she's going to hell. Your stairway lies on the whispering wind. Where does your stairway lie? So if I said to uh, somebody, hey, your stairway lies in the whispering wind, I'd basically be telling them that they're going to hell because the whispering wind was the piper's path, as we've already sung. Now, before we go to the, the lyrics backwards and look at Stairway to Heaven backwards, which I think we should, I want to show you something in a bootleg by Led Zeppelin where they actually changed the words to this song. They were, this, that was at Madison Square Garden, what you had seen right there. First of all, before we go to it backwards and before we show the bootleg, I want to open it up and I want to show you what it looks like on the inside of Stairway to Heaven. And what you see is a woman, which she probably can't see from back there because she's in black, she's not shining white light at all, and she's climbing a mountain. Does it look like it leads to heaven? Looks like it leads to outer darkness to me, okay? In fact, the one who's leading her is a hermit of the tarot cards. The tarot cards are, uh, are occultic cards to, to divine the future for occultists and people in the New Age movement and so forth. Crowley had his own deck of uh, tarot cards that he designed. The hermit from the tarot cards represents uh, occultic wisdom, occultic guidance. Who's the one that is guiding the occult, ultimately? Satan. Satan. Whose path is she really on? Satan's. In fact, just as Jimmy Page, you had seen right there, was invoking Satan, a little bit later in that same song, just a few minutes if we would have kept going, he becomes one with the hermit. His face blends in one with the hermit, who rep is a representation of Satan, ultimately, because he was invoking Satan in that ritual. Now it's interesting that really the piper is, is, is Satan. In fact, when we listen to the song, and we're still not going to listen to it backwards yet, but when we listen to the song forward, I want you to catch something, just a, a little part of it, very interesting. What I want to ask you is what kind of music do you hear? Grab that up a little. We hear an acoustic guitar. But what kind of instrument do we hear in the back of that acoustic? The pipe. The piper. The most powerful song of all time in rock and roll history, the biggest classic, has the piper that they identify as Satan, that is identified as Satan, I should say, leading the people that are in the kingdom of rock and roll. And guess what? I was a Led Zeppelin fanatic. And I had no idea because I was blinded because people are being blinded by this, you guys. But I've been set free by the Lord Jesus Christ who breaks these chains of deception. And you can be set free too. In fact, uh, we said earlier, the whispering path we saw was Satan's path, and then we're, we see her being told, Dear lady, can you hear the wind blow? The pipe. And did you know your stairway lies in the whispering wind? I mean, you're going to hell. Now, Led Zeppelin at the L.A. Forum, they tell their fans, basically, where they're going. Okay, listen very carefully. Dear who? Tells them their stairway lies on the whispering wind. He just told them they're all going to hell, and at the end of the concert, they don't know what's going on. So look how Robert Plant says goodbye to his fans. He just told them they're going to hell. They don't get it. They're cheering Led Zeppelin fanatically. And he tells them that they've been, it's been a joke, basically. Listen carefully. Oh, LA's been very funny. Good night. 
I've seen them do that over and over again in their music. Kind of laugh at, the, laugh at the crowd. In fact, right here, let's look at Stairway from another angle. Let's look at it from the angle in which uh, Satanists are looking at it and see what they're actually finding. Now, there's a few different ways to look at backwards masking. And uh, there's different types of what people call backwards masking. I'm not talking really about backwards masking. I'm talking really about backwards messages. In fact, one way to do it, which wouldn't require demons or higher intelligences to intercede, would be just to take straight words, take seven or eight words in a song, and reverse them. And then when you played it backwards, you would hear those words. But when you heard it forwards, what would you hear? You'd hear something backwards. It wouldn't make sense. So when people talk about how backwards masking is done in the studio, yeah, that kind of backwards masking is done in the studio. No problem. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about when you hear music and lyrics forward, and then you hear those same lyrics backwards, and it's a message forward, and those same words are a message backwards. Okay? And we're not talking about one or two words. We're not talking about something like the cat and playing it backwards and trying to get something like tack backwards and something out of the. We're talking about sometimes over 15 words straight. We're talking on Stairway to Heaven right around 30 words. Okay? And we're not only talking about that, we're talking about a song that wasn't engineered to be heard backwards, but came right from the spirit world automatically. Okay? And then we're talking about if you wanted to make lyrics backwards on a song, you're going to mess up that song forward pretty bad, right? Well, Stairway to Heaven is the most popular song in rock and roll. So this, this destroys any kind of argument that, that comes against it. And what destroys it more is the lyric forward often has everything to do with the lyric backwards. And to take it even further, you can hear a lot of these same things on live albums backwards. Because it's the demonic spirits using these human beings. Do you understand that? So let's listen to it. Remember, first of all, that they were invoking Satan, that they've got it from Satan. And listen to what you hear backwards. First we'll hear a little bit forward. Listen carefully. Raise your hand if you heard anything right away. Okay, that was without me even telling you anything. I've seen a lot of hands go up. Forward. Your stairway lies on the whispering wind. Forward it says, and your stairway lies on the whispering wind. Backwards it says, because I live with Satan. Listen carefully. Raise your hands if you heard that. Quite clear, quite obvious. There's a lot more. Her stairway lies in the whispering wind, dear lady, just like the Led Zeppelin fans, because they, because their power is Satan. They live with Satan. That's, their, that's who empowers them, and they're following Led Zeppelin. They're really following Satan, because Led Zeppelin were just four puppets. Satan could have used any four and formed Led Zeppelin. It was Satan's music. Let's listen on. Backwards it says the piper's calling you to join him, or forward. Backwards it says the Lord turned me off. Raise your hands if you heard that. Forward it says, and it makes me wonder. Backwards it says there's no escaping it. Raise your hands if you heard that. Okay, it's quite obvious, and it's quite clear. You'd have to turn your ears off not, to not hear it, okay? It's really obvious what's going on here. Now, there is an escape. It says there's no escaping it. There is an escape, and that's Jesus Christ. In fact, he's the only escape. He's the only escape. Jesus said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. He said, if you try to climb up some other way, you won't make it. He says, the same as a thief and a robber. He alone, he said, is the gate. And if you want life, it's in him. And if you go some other route, according to the scriptures, you're still following Satan. You can't pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You can't do it through Buddha. You can't do it through Muhammad. They're both still in their graves. Jesus has risen from the dead, and he's coming back again, and you better be ready. Let's listen on. Listen backwards again, and I'm not going to say anything, and just listen 
And I'm gonna ask you to raise your hand if you heard something before I even say anything. if you heard anything. I see hands all over the place, okay? Now listen to this forward. Forward, it, there's, you're talking about several words, like around uh, 17 words or so. actually talking about more than 17 there. Listen carefully. It, what forward is talking about the two paths you can take, okay? Yes, there are two paths you can go by. Backwards, they lift up, the demons lift up, because this isn't Led Zeppelin, this is spiritism, and spirits working through Robert Plant. Backwards, they lift up the backwards path, the satanic path. It says, backwards, here's to my sweet Satan, I want to live it backwards, like the Zepp, referring to Led Zeppelin. Robert Plant referred to Led Zeppelin as the Zepp over and over again in interviews, and that's how they've been referred to for years. So backwards it says, here's to my sweet Satan, I want to live it backwards, like the Zepp, whose power is Satan, he will give you, give you 666. Listen carefully. Backwards it says, here's to my sweet Satan. <laughs> Did you hear that? Listen carefully. It says, I want to live it backwards like the Zep, whose power is Satan. Did you hear that? Then it says, he will give you, give you 666. Not much into my albums anymore, so... He will give you, give you 666. Big deal. The mark of the beast will come out. People will take it on their right hand or their forehead. And then all of a sudden, they'll get grievous sores on their right hand. And they'll say, hey, what's going on? It's not working. There's some kind of reaction to this mark. And then before you know it, according to Revelation 14, everybody that takes the mark of the beast will be damned in fire and brimstone, it says, forever. And the smoke of their torment rises up forever and ever. Big deal. It's a big deal in this sense. The people that take the mark of the beast, the people that are rejecting Jesus right now, are not going to make it into God's kingdom. And we need to reach people and say, hey, the scriptures say, Jesus said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. We need to turn to him wholeheartedly. Where are you turning at this time? Who are you following? Not to follow Jesus is to follow Satan, according to the word of God. Jesus said, he that is not with me is against me. Where are you at? Led Zeppelin is obviously satanic. Are you following him? Or are you following 